Good Tuesday, or pardon me, Wednesday morning, everybody. Need some more coffee, there's no question about that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis on Google+, YouTube, Twitter, and also Periscope this morning. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South area, wreg.com slash weather for more information. Be glad to pass more along to you as well on air and online. Current conditions across the Mid-South, just past 8 o'clock in the morning, back in the mid to upper 20s. Wind's a little breezy, so we've got some pretty good amounts of wind chills out there. High temperatures today in this bar back in the mid 40s, and for tonight, temperatures going back to around the lower 30s and mostly clear skies at first, but then more clouds starting to make their way into the area as we go throughout the course of the next several days. Taking a quick stop toward the fourth rock from the sun, 19 degrees, maximum air temperature on Monday from the Curiosity Rover Remote Environmental Monitoring Station, 99 degrees below zero. Those are temperatures in Fahrenheit, by the way, for the area around the Curiosity. The rover's station there. 61 degrees, the maximum ground temperature. 110 degrees below zero, the minimum temperature on the ground. And UV level marked as high as we see again some fairly clear skies out there. There were a couple good dust storms forming over the last couple of days, but it doesn't seem to have clouded things over too much. So good news on that. More information, follow the website mars.nasa.gov for more information about what's going on. National Mall in D.C., we've got again some sunlit snow this morning. National Park System at nps.gov where you can find more cameras just like this or follow the hashtag findyourpark. And this is what it looked like courtesy of my cousin Alex Fisher who works at Fordham University just across the street from the Bronx Zoo, which is what you're looking at right there. Snow just beginning to fall in the early morning hours of Tuesday. Tuesday, windy and snow from what he says uh, in the area there. So thank you very much, Mr. Alex, for sending that along. Really do appreciate it. Twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3. If you have any pictures you'd like to tweet to us, purchase knob, fresh snow in the Appalachians over portions of the Great Smokies. And this one, again, also courtesy of the National Park System. If you'd like to see more about what's going on there. Here closer to home, Bethel Springs, Tennessee at the elementary school from the Weatherbug System. Temperatures, again, very much on the frigid side, but at least we've got some blue skies and sunshine and looking back toward Cordova at St. Francis, just south of I-40. Very quiet for early Wednesday morning. Probably a lot of people off of spring break, so not too much in the way of a school backup at this time. And likewise, a little further down Germantown Parkway, which you can see down into the area of in and around Poplar Pike and Germantown for this morning. So we are seeing in some decently clear skies out across much of the Mid-South there. Rest of the day, again, mainly clear, but we should be seeing the possibility of some more clouds heading our way into the next couple of days. Currently seeing, again, little, if anything, in the way of major problems. A lot of sunshine out there, but temperatures will be chilly throughout the morning and throughout the rest of the afternoon. Notice we've got temperatures just barely around 40s as we head toward early this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, a little breezy on the winds, not doing too bad, but it will be, again, very much on the chilly side starting things off and finishing things up. But from here, we got some very nice temperatures coming on through. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Sunrise this morning at 7.10, earlier tomorrow morning at 7.08, giving us 11 hours and 58 minutes of sunlight for today, 12 hours even for tomorrow. And as we go toward the spring equinox, again, heading toward some very nice conditions. And we'll talk about that in the forecast in just a little bit. Tied a record low today, 25 degrees, set back in 1988. Our record high for today, 82. We're not going to come anywhere close to 2016 for a temperature there. Dry day in the Mid-South yesterday, which means we are ahead for the month by about a half an inch and behind for the year by about two and a quarter inches plus on that. Excuse the screen freeze as this is uh, becoming a bit of a habit with this computer. We'll be getting on to the rest of the maps coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. Rest of the forecast, again, showing the possibility of some much warmer conditions heading our way, and numbers, again, over the next several days will be, again, on the more mild side than what we have seen in quite some time, thanks to that last burst of cool air across much of the Mid-South area, and looking at some quiet conditions into much of the forecast, but by next Friday, we see, again, some showers and thunderstorms heading our way. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. So if you have any plans for outdoors, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll let you know more about that in the near future. Again, apologies for the screen freeze. This happens every once in a while with this computer system. I think we're almost to the next graphic, hopefully after about a minute of stalling. So hopefully we'll be there relatively soon. 
I think we're getting some improvement at this point, but this does not look too good for this computer system to be uh, doing this at this time. There we go. Rest of the forecast again throughout the rest of the day. Again, temperatures back in the mid to upper 30s to the lower 40s. And heading throughout the rest of the day, that's about as good as it gets. 10 o'clock tonight, News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers on with your complete forecast. Lower to mid 30s. And overnight tonight into very early tomorrow morning, temperatures will be dropping into the lower to mid 30s across much of the area. So lower 40s, that right there is just a very optimistic number for right now. Hopefully more sunshine will raise the number, but it doesn't look too good at this point. Lower 50s around Thursday with mostly cloudy skies coming on through. Take the umbrella for Friday. Shamrocks will be wet for St. Patrick's Day and more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Numbers throughout the rest of the next few days after that will be seeing some very mild conditions through the weekend. Plenty of sunshine after showers and thunderstorms end on Saturday and then clearing things out as we get into Saturday and Sunday. More clouds on Monday, first day of spring, and then as we go toward around Tuesday into Wednesday, more chances of showers and thunderstorms, and yet again, as we go toward Friday or so, could be some problems there. Into the Persian Gulf area, friends, family, and loved ones serving in the United States military. Temperatures in the high 60s around Mosul, lower 80s around Basra, and down toward Najaf. Into the Persian Gulf, temperatures again in the mid to high 70s as we approach sunset and not doing too bad. Usually we can get some pretty good sandstorms at this time of the year, but nothing like that showing up, so good news there. Into Afghanistan, temperatures 40s around Faizabad with rain. Rain also in lower 40s around Kabul at the airport. 60 degrees around Kandahar and 61 at Herat with mostly clear skies. Thunderstorms around Kandahar. The area around South Korea from the DMZ south to parts of the South China Sea. We've got numbers back in the mid to upper 30s to around the lower 40s for this morning. And and checking into Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Again, decently quiet. So far, in the of some more today. No rain yet, and temperatures again remain back close to 80 degrees at their high temperatures so far for the day. These coming meetings, where it comes to Skywarn training, the last five, the season went very quickly from January through February into March. The one for Memphis coming up on Thursday, March 23rd. That's next Thursday, 6.30 p.m. at Lord of Life Lutheran Church. That's at 6865 Poplar Avenue. So a great opportunity for you to get more information Podcast on the Memphis AM radio show. It's available Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m. And following that on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh, you can catch up today with all kinds of sports chat there. And don't forget about our great weather app. Go to whatever app store you've got, search WREG Weather, and you'll get tons of weather information on that. And please send me pictures if you got stuff going on around the Mid South. We would love to know about it, but I can't sit, show them if you don't send them. So please send them along to me. That'd be great, and we'd love to be able to know more about what you're seeing out there. And again, also don't forget to drop by wrag.com slash weather for more information. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis on Google Plus and YouTube. Thanks for joining me with Twitter and Periscope, and we'll have more information throughout the rest of the day coming up on air and online on News Channel 3.